What's up everybody, KG here, coming at you with a quick and easy tutorial showing you how to stake your hex and view your existing hex stakes on ETHPOW, as well as see and interact with your stakes that were copied over in the ETHPOW fork. Now, in this video, I am not going to show you how to connect to ETHPOW. I'll have a video link in the description with another easy tutorial showing you how to connect to ETHPOW and import your hex tokens. I will also not be showing I will also not be showing you how to buy hex in this video. I will also have another link in the description below showing you how to buy hex and other tokens on ETHPOW. Final note there are a few front ends popping up that allow you to interact with your hex stakes and create new stakes on ETHPOW. But for the purposes of this video, I will be using the front end built by Alex from the Hedron team. So let's jump right into it. Shrink the window. You're going to navigate over to app.icosa.pro. And in testing this, I've noticed a bug. It doesn't happen every time, but I'll show you how to work through it if you encounter it. So notice my MetaMask did not pop up while connecting to the site. So you can try this. Connect wallet, MetaMask. It popped up this time. So we're gonna go ahead and sign in. And it's loading and you can see the existing stakes stake that I have here let me show you a workaround if this clicking connect wallet and clicking MetaMask also doesn't cause your MetaMask wallet to pop up and connect right here there's two things you can try the easy way is delete apps forward slash hex press enter that could make the MetaMask wallet pop up right here. If that doesn't work, the second solution is navigate back to the Google homepage, click the three dots in the top right, settings, privacy and security, clear browsing data, clear data. Now close Google Chrome reopen it navigate back to apps.icosa.pro and try again and see now it's not working and then when I deleted the browser or when I deleted apps forward slash hex it caused MetaMask to pop up for me so those are the two workarounds if MetaMask isn't popping up. Now, sign back in. You can see that this is the one stake that I currently have. Let's go ahead and create a new stake. I'll also show you your liquid hex. Create the stake. Stake them out. We're going to do a small test. 25. One day going in big. Stake type, you can also create an HSI stake here, but we're just gonna do a native hex stake for the purposes of this video. Stake hex. MetaMask is gonna pop back up. And you can see I am on the ETHW mainnet. Confirm. Let's go ahead and open up MetaMask so we can watch it. Expand. And there it is. It has been staked. And boom, you can see that my second stake just went through. And that's it. You can also end your stake, emergency end stake, or if I had completed the days, then I could end my stake here as well. So that is it, everybody. It is really that easy. 
to view your hex stakes on ethpal and create a new hex stake on ethpal as well as interact with or end your stakes here on ethpal if you liked the video if the video was helpful please drop a like please subscribe and i appreciate your time peace